Hello everyone, by installing a separate app outside of Gbox virtual machine and then calling the Google GMS within the virtual machine, this is the best method I have used, which is almost no difference from installing the native Google GMS. In a previous video, I shared with you how to install and use the Google GMS using this method on Huawei phones. Afterwards, I also tested this method on Huawei tablets and Honor tablets, and it worked perfectly as well. Today, I will share with you how to install the Google GMS on Huawei tablets and Honor tablets. Okay, let's take a look at my tablets now. Let's go. Okay, welcome to my pad. Now I'm using the Honor pad and the uh, Huawei's pad. So today I will show you the logic of the method of how to install the GMS using this uh, pad. This method is same, I mean between the Honor uh, pad and the uh, Huawei's pad. Let's go to the settings and check the system. Let's go to software update. You can see the Honor system, Honor pad is using the Magic UI. And uh, I tested on the Magic UI. It can uh, using this method perfectly to install the Google GMS. And for the Huawei Pad, like uh, Huawei's Mate Pad Pro, I also tested on the Huawei's Pad, and it also works perfect using this same method. So the method is same. You can use this method to install the Google GMS on both Honor Pad and Huawei Pad. Both of the, the both of them are without the without the uh, Google's GMS. In pre installed. Okay, now you can see I'm already using the Gbox, install the Gbox, and uh, with the Gbox, I also install the uh, Google Photo, YouTube, Gmail, Drive, Map. Let's have a look. The, uh, the, you can see the difference between those icons. You can see this is uh, with a small uh, green G. You can see small green G on the right bottom side, which means these two app I uh, rely on this G box. I mean, uh, without a G box, it cannot be uh, used. But I mean, the efficiency is lower than those one you can see. Those are uh, five. Those five icon without this uh, small green G, which means they can work separately. I mean, just like a native Google GMS, just like native Google GMS, G, we install those apps separately outside the G box, outside the uh, virtual machine. That's the difference, and the efficiency is very high. Just I mean, there's no difference. I mean, um, when you're using it this way, you will feel no difference between the native Google GMS and this virtual machine GMS because they are works separately outside the Google G, G box. Let's have a look. If I click the uh, Google map, see map can use the map perfectly. You can locate and navigate to the Google map and the Google Drive. You can see the drive. You can, you can uh, upload your file. Click this uh, plus button and it can read your internal drive to upload your photos, your document directly from your pad. So this method is perfect. And the Gmail, it also works the Gmail. You can see I received several mail because um, this method, I mean Gbox method, it will simulate another kind of uh, equipment using your Google account to log into your Google account. So you will see, uh, you receive an email said like me, said the Galaxy S9 logged in with my Google account because it simulates this uh, Galaxy S9 as your equipment to log on to your uh, Google account. Okay, then the YouTube also worked perfect. So with this method and the Google Photo also can work separately, perfect. And for the Google um, Play, click that. Google Play's efficiency will be a little bit slower, but it still can work. You can search for like a uh, YouTube Kids, search for the applications you want to install and or update. So the total um, using the Gbox, click the Gbox. Yeah, you can. Uh, um, see these uh, apps pre if you want to install other apps you can from this G box like a uh, long time click long time click and you will see download or delete we can click download it will um, trigger the uh, the Google Play Store and you can install these uh, apps here and if you go back it will um, go back to Google Play Store home page. So very useful. Okay, and then I will delete this Gbox and we'll show you step by step how to install, install this Gbox virtual machine. First, I long time click and here click in uninstall. Click uninstall, uninstall. Okay, so you can see after uninstall this Gbox, you will see those uh, uh, Google Play Store and uh, the YouTube kits are. Uh, also disappeared because they are purely rely on the Gbox 
um, virtual machine to work for other applications they are work they are working separately uh, yeah that's why uh, it is the user experience is perfect okay then I also delete them one by one and I show you how to install those applications and native native applications and using this uh, Google play uh, using this uh, Google GMS to this method I think this method is very perfect okay so now my pad is the same uh, situation comparing with your pad I mean your um, Huawei's Mate Pad Pro Huawei's Pad using the EMUI 11, EMUI 10 or EMUI 13 or Harmony OS 2, Harmony OS um, 3 um, this method are all compatible with your pad okay so let next we just open the internal browser you can using your edge browser or browser I mean the internal browser is no problem we click this browser internal browser and click open this website the gboxlab.com I will put this uh, web link just down below you can click the link to open this web website and the download the gbox after you open this website you can see that the free download here the latest version is uh, July 21st so it, it updates from time to time okay then we click free download click it and it will download here you can click download this file just the way be patient uh, the size is around 68.41 megabyte after that it will install automatically you can click allow to install the gbox virtual machine click install after finished installation then everything will be okay click done and uh, go back to the desktop you can see the gbox is already it, uh, has already done, uh, installed then we go to the gbox have a look click and i agree and it is very simple and straightforward here to improve the stability of the app and notification please is near enable necessary necessary permissions we click check and uh, require permissions click enable access enable and enable the ignore battery optimization which means to prevent your system kill this uh, gbox in the background that's why we will enable this uh, ignore battery optimization click allow click allow okay perfect permission setting finished then go back then you can see the google play store for me is already here okay, then we go back to your desktop then we go back to the browser and uh, go back we, when we we needed to install the app availability to install the, 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 the google application separately we click app availability and we needed to install the related software apps to your desktop here first let's install the google map click the google map and click download okay here yeah, you can see the download click download to download the google map separately and install it separately okay okay then now click allow click install okay click done let's go back you will see here this application is, is uh, on your desktop then we go to next one and go back and go back if you want to install like YouTube click this YouTube and uh, click download to install it click download click here download okay perfect click allow and click install to install YouTube okay click done you will find that the YouTube is already on your desktop then you go back to install other applications like uh, Gmail okay please click download and click download just be patient okay finished and click allow and click install okay click done and click go back go back so you needed to find all the applications if you want there's many applications for you to install you can choose the one if you want to use so okay now let's go back to the desktop then how to use these applications for example if you want to use uh, YouTube then let's first let's go to the gbox you, you want to log in to your google account then you can uh, automatically log in all those uh, maps youtube and gmail at immediately after you log into the after you log into the google play store let's go to the gbox and click google play store 
and click sign in to sign in Google account. Okay, then key in your Google account. Okay, then click next. Then key in your password. Okay, then click next. Click I agree. Okay, perfect. Well, we already installed it. Uh, we already logged into the Google Play Store. Yeah, perfect. Google Play Store. Then if you want to use Google Play Store to install your applications, you can click the click Google Play Store and uh, search on the Google Play Store. For example, YT Kids. YT Kids. Yeah. And you can f install the white YouTube Kids from the Google Play Store. Okay, finish. Okay, then uh, there's a warning say you have tried to add a create a desktop shortcut permission. Okay, let's go to the settings and uh, go to the permissions and give the Gbox a permission to create home screen shortcut here. Click allow. Okay, then go back. And uh, for other uh, permissions, it depends on your per on your personal usage. If you want to use this uh, permission, you can open this permission. Okay, let's, let's go to the Gbox. And if you want to add the create a shortcut, then you can create a shortcut to the desktop here. You can see now you can YouTube Kids can be created a shortcut on your desktop. And go to the Gbox again and long time click the Gmail create a shortcut. Okay, so let's go back to the desktop. Okay, then if you want to manually go to the permission setting, you can go to the settings and go to the um, apps and search for the apps and search for the Gbox. Then you will find it and you can long click this permission and you can give this uh, permission like create home screen shortcut, give this uh, permission. And uh, for the others like uh, battery usage, let's go to Go back, just go to the battery usage here. Power usage details, go to power usage details. Then you click the launch settings here. Click launch settings, give the authority to auto launch, secondary launch running in the background to avoid the system killing it in the background. Otherwise, it will not uh, like uh, pop up the uh, messages for WhatsApp or Facebook messages if this uh, Gbox was killed in the background. So I just recommend you that just setting the auto launch, secondary launch and run in the background. Click OK. Then it will run in the background. I mean, for the YouTube, they are separate uh, applications. Let's go to the settings. If you search the apps, and search YouTube like YouTube. You can see this is a separate applications and you can also set in the power usage details and give the launch settings like launch automatically, switch off manual, auto manage automatically, switch on, switch on, switch on. For those, I mean, for this app like WhatsApp and uh, Facebook message, you set in the launch settings to avoid the system killing it in the background. So they are separate native applications installed on your um, tablets and the efficiency is very high just uh, no difference comparing with the uh, uh, native Google GMS so it's very easy to use it then let's go to the YouTube click YouTube it will be automatically logged in because you, you already logged log in the Google Play Store so it will automatically log into your YouTube Okay, you can see that uh, I already automatically logged into my YouTube. I click this my icon here. This my uh, my uh, uh, my ID is um, my Google account is already logged in. Okay, let's go back and go to the uh, like Gmail. Click it. It will also automatically log in. You can see new G in Gmail. Got it. And uh, you can see my account already there and take me to the Gmail. Okay, you can see there's a, a message said another system, another mobile phone like Galaxy S9 Plus logged into my Google account because this uh, Gbox simulate, simulated my um, uh, simulated my equipment as the as a Galaxy S9 using my this uh, tablet. So it simulate my tablets as a, a Galaxy S9. So that's no problem. Okay, so that's the uh, perfect. I think this is the uh, perfect solutions to fix the Google GMS. If you are using this method, it is uh, efficiency is very high. Okay, if you like my sharing, don't forget thumb up and see you next time. Bye bye.